M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Euro node here made by DV Mega, very nice looking hotspot as you can see. Chrome sort of metal, real metal case uh, with a little dongle there. Ethernet's plugged in at the moment and an OLED screen. So let's just plug in some power. Now it's got a micro USB here and you've got your SD card there which has been preloaded for you but you can download the image from, from DV Mega and they, and they provide excellent excellent support so i've just plugged it in and uh, plonk it down here a minute and we'll give that a minute to to boot it should find the ethernet now if you type in to your google search https slash slash pi star like this okay it should find it but otherwise there's a program called Angry IP that you can download and it will search everything on your network. So let's just have a, I'm going to put that into my Pi Star. Now give it a good three, I would say at least maybe even five minutes just to really make sure it's booted up. And we're running the Pi Star system. This will run the W0CHP system and can do M17. Now if you look here, it's already found an IP address, so I don't need to use the Pi Star, I can just put that in, which is 106. So let's put that into my browser. Now remember, you have to be on the same network, you know. So this is on my network's called Mercury, connecting back to my broadband router, uh, and so is my computer. So it's all joining on the same network. So once here, we just go to configuration, sign in here, and then we're going to go to the configuration page. At the moment, all I actually have to do is put in my call sign and my DMR number, which I'll put in just here and here, and the frequency that my hotspot's going to be transmitting on. We've got all that in there, got my frequency, and we're going to click apply just down here. And then when it's applied, we can go back in and we can actually add our Wi-Fi details. The other way to add your Wi-Fi details is to go to Pistar Builder, look putting your username and password, and then just click submit and you get a little file like this. I've done it a few times now. And it's this little white file, just drag that into the SD card that is in the node, which is here. Okay. And it's a really nice looking hotspot, this. I'm just showing you around. It's a pleasure just to look at. Nice clear OLED. And of course, the Ethernet will come out when we've added Wi-Fi. And you can actually flip these screens. My memory is in the settings. You can flip that screen so it'll go the other way around if you know if you prefer that. Otherwise, it has a little dongle there. If you take the dongle out, you could actually use connect a Nextian screen with a an adapter or the pin. If you look inside to the right of the board, you've got those four holes right by the red lights. You can um, add an XDN screen there if you really want to. But this is a very plug and go item. It's very small in the palm of my hand and that's probably, I think, one of its, one of its strengths. Let's just see if the dashboard's come back on. It has, not linked at the moment. Um, let's just, it's still trying to go to YSF. So let's go back to config. We'll turn off YSF. D star and then we'll beside these two tabs here slide them off then we'll scroll down and we'll just add the Wi-Fi so all you do is configure Wi-Fi scan scan delete the one that's there if you want I'll delete that scan for networks and it will find your home Wi-Fi and just add your username and password in the normal way so it's found one there I'm going to select Mercury, I'll put my password in now and then just hit save and connect and when it reboots it, You won't need the Ethernet cable anymore And you, if you look here see it says S interface down when that's green and Doesn't say down then you know it's connected Okay, it's all running fine now. Everything's connected. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Bye for now